Hey guys, Crazy Postman here. Well, I've been seeing that Momotion is coming out with two new robot lawnmowers for this year. So we're going to go ahead and check them out. One of them is the Luba 2, and the other one is the Yuka robot lawnmower that has the lawn sweeper attachment. That's going to be kind of cool. So let's go ahead and do a picture in picture here and check out the Luba 2 video, and then we will discuss it just a little bit. Large or uneven lawns don't stand a chance. Luba 2 AWD is an autonomous wire free lawnmower built to tackle rugged terrain with stunning aesthetic results. You drive Luba like an RC car to set a virtual boundary so there's no need for perimeter wires. You can also set multiple mowing zones that Luba will traverse automatically. Its all-wheel drive system climbs steep slopes up to 38 degrees thanks to the enhanced internal motors, while adaptive suspension maintains a smooth mow over bumpy terrain. With our patented dual-purpose driving system, Omni wheels prevent damage to the grass when Luba makes a zero turn. Luba is now compatible with smart home systems. Alexa, have Luba mow the lawn. Mowing started. For an entirely hands-free experience. Under the hood, it wields dual cutting plates with an effective width of 400 millimeters. Cutting height can be adjusted to your liking through the mobile app. A solar-powered RTK unit enables centimeter-level positioning. And if there's ever a loss in GPS connection, Luba will default to its 3D vision system. There's no loss in mowing accuracy, even when RTK is disconnected for an extended period of time. When you're out of town, you'll never have to give it a second thought. Luba's triple redundant obstacle avoidance system is powered by a physical bumper, ultrasonic radar, and binocular vision that detects anything in its path, making Luba safer around pets and children. The intelligent battery detects when power is getting low and returns itself to the base station for recharge. Adjust mowing specs and monitor progress anywhere directly with the Memotion app. All this and so much more make Luba 2 AWD the ideal choice for large or uneven lawns. So that was it. That was the new Luba 2 with the new camera set on it that is supposed to help it navigate even when the RTK fails. So let's go down and get some highlights real quick. Luba just has a very slight redesign. Not much at all has changed except for the camera module that's stuck here on top. And also the back wheels look a little bit less aggressive, which I think is a good thing. Uh, the, the previous back wheel design could tear up the grass just a little bit because it would get traction. It was a very good traction tire, sometimes at the expense of the grass. Uh, the setup doesn't look like it's changed. You still drive it around like a little RC car. Let's keep going down. Speaking mode, now that is going to be great that it has Alexa and Google Home enabled. Um, that'll just take a step out of your process. You can say the code word and then say, tell Luba to start mowing. Easy as that. You don't even have to get out your phone. There's a little bit closer view of the new back tire design. Uh, you can see it is less aggressive on that tread. It's going to have dual lenses, so it's kind of like a more human vision with two eyeballs. So I'm guessing they are the same field of view or, you know, one of them could be wide angle and one could be more zoomed in. I, I don't know, but right now I'm guessing they are just two of the same camera, giving it kind of stereo vision. So they did upgrade the RTK module. You can see it does come with a 5,000 meter range now. Not sure how they accomplished that if they upgraded the antenna or the transmitter power or both but now the RTK has a much further range not that it was much of a problem before but now it's just even better and 
It also has a higher IPX7 waterproof rating, so that's good to hear. Not that we're going to go test that out by throwing it in the pool, but if you get a monsoon come down, it's going to be fine. They also have a solar panel attachment. We'll probably see that down here further. So here is the new 3D vision mapping system. It looks like it's just screwed right onto the top of old Luba here. But that's all right. That's right where it needs to be. If you remember some of my old videos, that's right where I put my camera when I put uh, one of those security cameras on top of Luba just to be able to watch it, what it was doing when it was out mowing. I thought that was fun. But now Mamotion has an official camera just smack dab right there on the top. I can't wait to get to try this. Hopefully I get to try it out and bring it to y'all this year. So supposedly now if you are mowing right next to a tall structure and you lose your RTK coverage, supposedly this new module is going to enable the Luba to continue on mowing just with the visual sensors until it gets the RTK coverage restored. Looking at the bottom here, these bottom brackets do look like they're redesigned just a little bit. So hopefully this will help with the uh, clogging that happens sometimes underneath. Now this next thing here is something that is completely not necessary but fun. Lawn art. Why not? If you have two centimeter precision accuracy on your robot lawnmower, have it go draw something out in your yard. So this is uh, completely not necessary, but it will be fun to mess with maybe. So we can give that a try when the new mower comes out and see uh, who is the first one to draw a lawn in their lawn. <laughs> I would have to edit that out. You know somebody's going to do it. You know, if, if you're not restricted to uh, Luba's own pictures, somebody's going to draw a lawn so this next part here, real-time monitoring for peace of mind. This is going to be cool. You can send your Luba out on patrol. Now, I don't know if you can manually just tell it where to go and it autonomously goes there. If you can manually control it the whole time you're viewing the camera or if it just randomly patrols. This is something we don't know right now, but we are certainly going to try it out as soon as we can. So it does look like the new Luba 2 is going to have official 4G support for real GPS tracking. If our Luba gets stolen, we should be able to use the 4G to still find it anywhere. Before, once they steal your Luba and it's outside of your Wi-Fi range, you're not going to find it unless you have hidden a air tag, air tracker. Anyway, one of those Apple things that you can buy. So they are mentioning air tags over here. I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work. Of course, we know how air tags work, but did they build a compartment that we can easily hide it in? or are they just saying we can put one on it somewhere? So we'll have to check this out too and see exactly how this is implemented. They, they kind of word it like there's going to be a compartment for you to put an air tag in. So here is the new solar powered RTK. Now the solar panel is an optional accessory, but that is awesome. It has a 5,000 meter range and a solar panel. So you can put this RTK unit anywhere on your property. It doesn't matter. As long as there's a nice clear view of the sky, that's what you want. You want that RTK to see as much of the sky as possible. The location now doesn't really matter because you have free electricity with the sun and it has an awesome range. So put it up 10 or 20 feet in the air and uh, have a wide open view of the sky you will have perfect RTK coverage for your yard. They do reaffirm that Luba machine is IPX6 waterproof rated. If you remember that uh, big thing last year where they said it was and then they said it wasn't and then they said it was again. Um, so I guess this time they are going to be sticking with the IPX6 rating and they are more confident in their 
weatherproof seals, hopefully. All right, so we've reached the bottom of this page. Let's check out the specifications. So you can see there is four different models here. You have a 10,000, a 5,000, a 3,000, and a 1,000. That is their maximum size limits, respectively. The Really, the only difference between all these machines is the 1000 has a little bit smaller of a battery. From what I can tell, there is no difference between the other models, just the size limits and the maximum zones per machine. Everything else is identical. Each of these models is gonna have a standard version and a high cut version. The high cut version is going to go from 60 to 100 millimeters and the regular version is 25 to 70 millimeters. And we will look at both models. So we want to look at United States dollars. So right now the 10,000 model is holy moly, hold on to your socks, $4,099. Woo! $4,099 for the 10,000. Wowzer! So you can see here the uh, regular 10,000 is 1 to 2.7 inches and the high cut is going to be 2.4 to 4 inches. And that's going to be the same across all models. So that is your Luba 2 preview here. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Do you like the Luba 2? Do you think it was a worthwhile upgrade? I certainly do. That is exactly what it needed. That was pretty much the only problem I ever had with Luba. If you get right next to a brick or a solid substantial structure, you lose your GPS coverage and it just sits there and it causes delays or it doesn't even finish at all. So hopefully this camera module, they can get the programming right and it will just be awesome. Let's flip over and check out this Yuka. 3D Vision Robot Lawn Sweeping Mower. So this is going to be for small yards. Uh, its specifications, uh, I'm pretty sure it was less than 500 meters squared size limit. We'll check that out in just a minute. First, let's watch this video here and see what the uke is about. Alexa, have you come mow and sweep the front yard? Initiating lawn maintenance. Forget about sweeping. Yuka sweeps leaves and debris as it mows. When all filled up, it navigates to customized location and automatically empties itself. Is Yuka easy to set up? Sure. Using 3D vision mapping and enhanced RTK system, Yuka can create wire-free virtual boundaries. Can it mow under blind spots? The cutting edge 3D vision navigation system enable Yuka mowing GPS blind spots accurately. Is it smart? Definitely. Yuka equips with 5 tops computing power chip. The AI deep learning allowed to identify just about anything and avoid obstacles in its way. Schedule Yuka via Mamotion app from anywhere. So what happens to Yuka when we are not at home? Rest easy when you're away. Yuka keeps a watchful eye on our property and enjoy your time on the clean and stylish lawn. Okay, okay, so there's a couple of things I like about this. Uh, maybe a few concerns we'll go over. So let's scroll down to check out some things and then I'm going to show you in the video what surprised me the most. Self-emptying tech. That is one of the things that's going to be so cool. So we've seen sweeping robots already by some other companies. So the awesome idea here that Mamotion had was you have a self-mowing robot that picks up leaves and debris. It needs to self-empty too. So they've designed this thing to where you can somehow say on the map, okay, right here is where I want you to empty out your bucket. And it will go over there and empty its thing out and then it'll go back to where it left off. 
So if that works well, that is awesome idea. Now, one thing I can think of just right off the top, you know, after it dumps two or three times, you're going to have kind of a pile. Uh, what's it going to do about that? Does it kind of move over a little bit each time it dumps or move forward or backwards? How's it going to handle that? Or are you going to come home to just one giant pile and Luba's stuck in the middle? I'm saying Luba. I mean Yuka is stuck in the middle somewhere, <laughs> buried. <laughs> So we'll have to see how this is implemented, but I think that's a great idea. Now remember, this is just for small lawns, so it will mow and sweep. Now the Yuka does have the 3D vision mapping system, but if you look, it's slightly different. And what I was saying when I was watching that video, what is this right here? Is that a little baby windshield wiper? That I please let that be a little windshield wiper. How awesome is that? I have no idea what it is, but I want that so badly to be a little windshield wiper for the little camera on the robot lawnmower. <laughs> I'm saying yucca because that's how they said it in the video. I really want to say yucca. 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 Okay. Yucca. That's a Japanese Yukawa. word. That's interesting on a Chinese robot lawnmower, but maybe uh, maybe they have some Japanese on their team than I didn't know about. So now that we figured that out, the Yuka says it is going to have voice control. So you can see here in this little upside down view, the Yuka still has two cutting plates. They're a little bit smaller and they only have three blades a piece. The only other slight concern I have is that it only has one caster wheel up here. Um, I would prefer to have two caster wheels on either side instead of one in the middle because when you just have one, sometimes it can get stuck in holes just a little bit easier. Um, I don't know that's going to be a problem. We'll have to wait and see. It may be a non-issue, but I like having two caster wheels. I'm sure they did it for cost reasons, but that's something we'll have to look at out in the real world. So there's it dumping its load right in the middle of the lawn. I guess that's where its designated spot for dumping is. And there is a nice computer-generated fake picture of some grass that it cut. <laughs> so I'm actually most excited for this one, I think. Now, the Luba 2 is a good upgrade uh, to get vision on Luba. But I'm actually pretty excited about this one. Even though it does have a smaller size limit, um, I really want to try this out. Hopefully, this is implemented in a good way and it works as it's supposed to. Three D vision mapping system. Wow, we got a whole little thing going here. You can see the little dog out in the yard and this tall piece of whatever sitting over here. Three D object identification and avoidance. It can avoid obstacles by as little as one inch. So that's good. The Yuka is also capable of our lawn imagery. So there's a couple things here. It is capable of 200 meters squared per hour. And its cutting height is 30 to 100 millimeters. So that's a pretty good range of cutting height there. Garden patrol monitoring. So this goes back to um, the patrol mode in the app. It says, elevate your property security with the Yuka's autonomous patrol monitoring, plus with the 4G GPS tracking system and dual alert system. The Yuka gives you absolute peace of mind and control over your property. So that halfway answers my question from earlier. It says it's autonomous patrol monitoring. So I don't know if you can send it to a specific place in your lawn, 
maybe it you tell it to go on patrol and it just goes. So I, I really can't wait to try this out. So you can see the Yuka is going to be listed on Kickstarter. So if you know how Kickstarter works, the first people get the biggest discount. So if you're interested in the Yuka, I would sign up here using this email so you know right when that launches and you can get the cheapest early bird discount. I'm definitely going to be doing that because I think the Yuka is the one I want to try. Like I said, that's coming to Kickstarter. But the Luba 2 is listed on the Momotion store. So you don't have to do Kickstarter if you want the Luba 2. It's available right now. You just choose your country like I showed the American prices just a minute ago. The 4000 2800, 2400, and 2100 price for the respective models here. Let's click on the Germans here and see how much it is in Germany with the Euros. Oh, they're not going to have the 10,000 in Germany. They only get the 5,000, the 3,000, and the 1,000. Interesting. Let's see if the Sweden prices are the same. They should be. Yeah, in Sweden, you also don't get the 10,000 as an option. Just the 5, the 3, and the 1. And for the Australians, the 5,000 is a smooth 4,600 buckaroos. Woo! So that's going to be it for our not-so-quick view of the new upcoming Mamotion robot lawnmowers. Let me know down in the comments which one you like better, the Luba 2 or the Yuka. Thanks for watching, and I will see y'all in the next one.